mainly members of the media, um, even as we invite you to this place, um, I was thrilled to watch the presentation and the famous uh, lady born in Nigeria, I think she works in the UK, she is one of the anchors of uh, CNN, Zen, um, Zen Asha. Uh, what what happened in Kamukunjo is given absolutely important airtime. And so the world is aware of what's going on in our beloved country. Allow me then to invite uh, our brother, Raila Molo Dinga, our leader, to come and make an important statement. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, this is a statement uh, by Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Coalition on the launch of a digital signature platform. And I just want to announce before I read the statement that this platform is now up and running and any Kenyan, wherever they are, you can just go to www.tumechoka.com and you will be able to access it. Last week, we announced the launch of a program of collecting signatures for the purposes of taking back the powers we delegated to our leaders. The exercise, which is ongoing, is meant to express the people's displeasure with Ruto and the rapt of punitive, unfair and unjust taxes that he has decided to impose on the people without the people's consent. This is part of the campaign of resistance, the civil disobedience and citizens' actions that we have decided to pursue to force Ruto and his regime to respect and listen to the people. The Finance Act 2023 clearly exposed the fact that our leaders have decided to take instructions from the executive and the executive has decided to pursue its own wishes regardless of what the people feel or say. Both the legislature and the executive have ganged up against the people, and the people have been left on their own. In return, the people have decided, rightly, to gang up against the executive and the legislature. The people have decided to invoke Article 1 of the Constitution. The process we are engaging in is about the deliberate policy decisions by the Kenya Kwanzaa regime to make life unbearable to a great majority of Kenyans, despite the consistent appeal by Kenyans for the regime to take actions to lessen their burden. The digital platform we have unveiled today is complementary to all other efforts and platforms, including civil disobedience, tax boycotts and defiance that are meant to compel the regime to repeal the Finance Act 2023 and take deliberate steps to lower the cost of living. These actions are also meant to compel the regime to address all the weighty issues that we have been pushing for, including a bipartisan the constitution of the IEBC, audit of the 2022 elections, and an end to the invasion and compromising of parties and members of parliament. The digital platform we have unveiled today will therefore run alongside manual or physical signature collection. And we urge Kenyans to feel free to choose between digital and manual platforms 
whichever they are comfortable with. We are aware that Kenya Kwanza has questioned where we will take the signatures and the legality of the exercise. We don't expect them to understand. <laughs> <laughs> they don't understand the people's power as at now, but with the time, they will do. But by the need, but, but they need to understand. We will not take it to the Kenya Kwanza IBC or their compromised parliament. We take this early opportunity to thank the 1.2 million people who have signed so far. We appeal to more people to come out and append their signatures to this historic undertaking. Note that 1.2 million people have signed this far. As we launch this, our citizens' engagement forums that we started in Kamukunji last week will continue. And Kamukunji will not be confined to Nairobi. As the people demonstrated last week, Kamukunji will be everywhere and anywhere across the country where Kenyans gather in the name of justice and well-being. We sincerely thank the people who turned out and spoke loudly, boldly and fearlessly in Western, Coast, Central, Nyanza, Rift Valley, Northeastern, and any of, of course, and of course, Nairobi last week. Eastern, Eastern. And Eastern. Yeah, yeah, and, and Eastern. We take note <coughs> that in the course of our otherwise peaceful activities across the country, Kenya Kwanza responded with live bullets and killed people in various parts of the country. In Nairobi, there was an attempt to assassinate the Right Honorable Raila Odinga, yours truly. We know they are getting it very wrong and, and missing the point that what Kenyans have started is a self-propelling movement. It has never been and will never be about an individual. Just like the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. or the detention of Nelson Mandela did not stop the march for civil rights and freedom in the USA and South Africa and that of Mahatma Gandhi in India. No amount of shooting tear gas, or even assassination will stop the march of history in this country. However, we intend to move to court and the institute prosecution against individual officers who are involved in unconstitutional and illegal actions against protesters in the course of our activities. Our activities are protected by the Constitution. By resorting to civil disobedience and protests, we can't be wrong unless the law itself is wrong. Kenyans must never be made to believe that they are wrong when they protest. We therefore ask Kenyans to film, photograph, and record all those police officers who shoot at or in any other way hurt protesters in the course of our activities. Such officers are acting in disregard for the Constitution and we must make, make them pay for their illegal activities. We are back tomorrow at Kamkunji, Nairobi and Kamkunji is elsewhere and everywhere across the country. Once again, we appeal to Kenyans to come out in even bigger numbers and make their voices heard. With the time, Ruto will respect Kenyans. What we started last week was only the first wave. Tomorrow, we must return with an even greater force and in greater numbers. 
And we must keep doing this until Ruto listens and respects Kenyans. Finally, and most importantly, let us stay united. We need unity now more than ever. With the unity, the fight won't be long, and we will get many of the things we desire and deserve. Let us stick together until the end. See you in Kamkunji tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you. There's a message.